back. Now we are going to legal issues and politics. That is fair headed for Omar and Buba. So please tell us what you got for us. Uh, great. Uh, we have seen uh, the report from the Court of Appeal. Mm -hmm. uh, they've said the reports and the recommendation of the Janet Commission cannot be legally binding. It's just like an advice oh. to, to, to the government. Uh, but already, it's not a surprise for me though, because uh, I have seen the, the Boy government appointing people who were adversely mentioned and recommended by Janet Commission to ban them for public office. But the president did not abide by those recommendations. Okay. So he went ahead appointing mm -hmm. them. And also recently, just some weeks ago, the Bar administration has appointed uh, Noah Tuya as the Secretary General and Head of Civil Service, who was also adversely mentioned. So because pe people uh, think that the Janet Commission report, the amount of tax around, some people think that the recommendations is all political, blah, blah, blah. And the actions of the government also reveal the fact that there's a politics in it. So I think uh, counseling it all together is what we've, we've been hoping for. We, we, we know they're going to end, 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 end like this, but there are a lot of issues also that need to be put into consideration because already the Minister of Justice mm -hmm. sold off Jamie's assets. So how oh. are we going to deal with that now? <laughs> if you're not going by the report of the Janet Commission, so how are they going to deal with that <laughs> issue? It is not binding. It's just a recommendation, and it's even under the uh, executive. But normally, um, what happens is most of the people, because they have so much trust and confidence on commission that have been set, but we must not also um, forget about the issue of separation of power here. Uh, we should restore hope and confidence in our judicial system. We have shown what the judicial system is capable of doing. Um, recently, we saw the case of Yakum Bajaita versus the state, and what you know, the outcome was how it comes. It was in favor of Yakum Bajaita. And we also saw just recently Janet Commission report with the adversely mentioned um, Karafi, mm -hmm. Karafi then versus the state and others, in which also the, the, the judgment of the case was in favor of Karafi. But I would love the government to appeal to the Supreme Court so that it will be you know, a landmark judgment, mm -hmm. wherein it will set a precedent. Because the Court of Appeal, after the Court of Appeal, you can go to the Supreme Court. But it's good we restore hope and confidence in our judicial system. Definitely. But wow. uh, I, have, I have a question. Uh, do you think that the action of the government is, can warrant us to hold them at their neck? Or do you think they have been doing selective justice? I mean, what, what's going on? Can you explain it? Yeah, the recommendation... Because, because you sold out the access of Jan already. Yeah, now you say the, 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 the recommendation should not, is no, not you legally can do binding. That. You can do that. Um, you can do that. But now it is responsible of the person that you show this asset to take it to court. But if you have uh, credible evidence to do show, you can do show. And if you know that if you're taken to court, you have credible evidence for justification of your act, then it's good. you are good to go. But the recommendations are not binding. The recommendations are recommendations that the president can execute. The president can execute them on the, his, uh, as an executive. Mm -hmm. He can execute them. And his execution will be binding. But that does not apply when it comes to court proceeding. In the Gambia, what makes decision binding is when it is um, clearly spelled out by law or it is given by a judicial authority. But can it be like cherry picking? Okay, boobas will be banned, this one will be banned. Should it be like animal farm stuff? All animals are equal, but some are equal. Some are saved mm -hmm. and some are punished. <laughs> Ah, yeah, uh -huh. 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring And the person who is executing that wrong instruction clearly and fully understand this is not part of his particular of employment, mm -hmm. but they continue to execute it. You also show where um, the, the civil society, so where the public, you know, public authority or public officer mm -hmm. is being politicalized to the extent that he is even a farmer as working under the government. We also see the level of incompetency that was embedded in our public institution. We also see the level of corruption. All those things was uh, revealed in the Ghana Commission. So you think that narration survives? That narration alone was a lesson that we should learn from, but we now see a repetition of such, uh, which um, we are going to condemn, but it just bound back to the discipline the government have. I think we have a problem of honesty, I'm very sorry to say, but we also have a problem of saying, uh, doing what is right. Because if you're working in a position and you cannot do the work, it's better you resign, because resignation is legal, because um, it's, it's better you, for you to resign and allow the country to prosper. To Definitely. And still on the transitional justice, why do you think uh, the junglers who allegedly killed a lot of people and they confessed at the truth commission were released on bail, but Yankuba is still in mile too? Yeah, I said... But, and charged for a murder case. Yes, I say the same belief with, um, with the Minister of Justice when it comes to that issue. Uh, because the junglers, um, they took uh, their act was um, human rights violation, gross human rights violation for that case, that being the case. But uh, them confessing before the court, you know the intention of having the commission or uh, the, the TRRC for instance, um, its sole intention is not to take people to court. It's, Gost, yeah, it's about reconciliation. It's about how Gambians are going to forge ahead, unite and forge ahead as Gambians. Um, it is also about for government to understand that what was here was wrong. But let us make sure that we remedy it in such a way that it is not going to hamper anyone. But um, the junglers, they confessed it clearly before the Gambians to say this is what we did. And I think for all purpose and intent, many Gambians definitely feel even it was foreigners that we are doing all these um, things that we used to have before on other radios and other stuff. But they confessed that they did it and there were people that failed to confess. And if two people are to be treated equal, If you fail to abide by the rules or proceeding, then perhaps it will be at your detriment. So if you abide by the uh, regulation, then it can be at the discretion of those executed. I think it's a very good logic because if not, um, we will not have got some of the information that we got from the junglers. And it's a lesson oh, to learn from the national army. Even though the goal is to reconcile, mm -hmm. don't you also think it's the choice of the victim family to forgive and, and move on? Because, you know, it's going to be so hard for me to see a person that's, you know, the person that murdered my father or my, even a friend or a family member or whoever it is, to be seeing you around working freely, you know. So yeah. it's so hard. It's, it, it's hard. It's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. No, um, what Gambia has experienced, if you look at um, Argentina, you also look at um, Rwanda, Mm -hmm. They also have commissions, or they all have something like the TRRC mm -hmm. on the transitional justice and the Gambia. But uh, what Gambia has experienced for the past 22 years and above, um, we cannot take people to court, to be honest. Uh, perhaps we do not have enough evidence, and it will be at the interest of the accused person for you to take them to court without having enough evidence, you leave them like that. 
the best you can do is to make sure you set a commission. Those that bear the greater responsibilities will be recommended for prosecution. So the junglers come in on both to yeah, the jungle, confess cannot be used as evidence? No, um, the TRRC has made it very clear that most of their evidence you cannot use them before court. What the, what the intention of the TRRC is not to take people to court. Their intention is to make sure you have reconciliation. But those that bear greater responsibilities, the rest assured they will be prosecuted. The, the rest assured those people will be prosecuted. But the sole intention is to make sure that we reconcile. Because if, like for instance, uh, something that has happened in 1994, and someone was alleged to have killed a person, and he is charged today for murder, and it is the state council that should, uh, that should prove that he has committed the offense of murder. People will be in haste to take that person to court. But um, uh, if you do not have evidence, mm -hmm. you're going to leave him to be free. So you have to take your time. It's a process. Evidence, to find evidence in the Gambia is very difficult. And evidence even all over the world is difficult. One case can last for 10 years or more. Okay. So we have to take your, our time. And the, the issue of taking people to court, the government could have jumped and put it, you know, just take people to court, whosoever is, you know, allegedly mentioned, you are, you know, charge, the police arrest you and charge you and take you to court. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, if there are 100, it's yeah. only five people that will be found guilty. I must say people but are disappointed. No, they should not be disappointed. Um, I still have hope and confidence on the TRRC. Mm -hmm. I think they are going in the right way. And this is the best. The Gambia have a very unique TRRC, to be honest. I know. The, 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 the way the evidence are rolling, the, the people there, and, and how transparent things are moving. Yeah. Perhaps there might be criticism, and that is obvious, that people will seem criticized. But mm -hmm. uh, the rest are short. We have hope and confidence on it. And it is going to be successful. But the commission also, uh, it is also going to do a fact-finding mission, and its recommendation depends surely on the hands of the executive. Mm -hmm. But what we can do as citizens is that um, anything that um, a commission, when you know a commission is set by law, and the money used on the commission is from the national coffers money. Mm -hmm. So what we can do, we can compel the government to act in accordance with the recommendations. And if they act in accordance with the recommendations, whosoever is affected, there will be a space under the recommendations that whosoever is affected, you can file your case before so and so date. I think it's before 30 days, one month, you can file a case. To say it well, the, the, the recommendations done against me are discriminatory. The recommendations uh, you know, are malicious, or you can bring your case and then proceed to the court. Well, thank you, Omar, it's a very for, good step, uh, for enlightening us. Yeah, thank, yeah. You. thank you so much, Omar, for, for, for effective bringing effective interaction with you, yeah, too. Yeah. Definitely, I learned a lot about uh, the way you give out when it comes to advocacy, especially the other segment, and even this one. Because um, we are not here, we are not here just as to educate people, but we are here to make to remove our new realities. We are here to learn. Um, to make sure that we also learn from our viewers, and Plus. perhaps we will have mistakes that they will recommend. Mm. But it's important that we listen to each other. Yes. Um, do not underrate people. Um, perhaps what you understand or what you have, this man did not have it, and the other person. And that is why I am always happy to have beautiful people just like you been here with thank great you, ideas. Thank you, thank you so much Buba and Omar. Uh, Buba, I really appreciate this because you brought a very important uh, topic. Definitely. Let them wait it to, to the straight talk and then the balance box. Don't forget to subscribe, mm -hmm. like. Just wait.